Aloha friends from Hawaii. Today I'm on my own and I figured that I would bring you along as I do a few things. Um, Mark is out on a boat with some locals that he uh, met up with on Facebook. They are free divers and I think he's going to be gone most of the day. <laughs> they said that they didn't have to be back until 4 o'clock. Um, hopefully he'll see some whales today. He's going to be doing a bunch of diving. I am just getting a load of laundry in and then I am going to head to the beach. We did not bring many clothes so that I was glad there was a washer and dryer so that I could do some laundry here. With Alaska Airlines, if you are an Alaskan resident, you can be part of what is called Club 49. And that allows you to take two free bags on every Alaska Airline flight. That has been very helpful to us when we travel. One, because we have a lot of kids, and two, it allows you to bring things with you that you maybe wouldn't have otherwise. So Mark and I actually packed all of our clothes in this one bag together, which is, you know, it's a big bag, but it wasn't even like as heavy as it's allowed to be. It was under the 50 pounds. Then we each had a backpack that we wore. My backpack, <laughs> we were kind of joking at how I, like how devastating it would be to lose my backpack because um, this whole YouTube world was in that backpack. It had my computer, our drone, three GoPros, and yeah, that's a lot. So took very good care of that backpack. If you saw our previous video, then you saw we brought our stand-up paddleboard, which we have enjoyed using, and then Mark brought his spear gun, and then all his diving equipment. So there were our four bags. So we all we packed all our stuff into that one bag. We don't bring a lot. I've just been we've just been wearing what we have, and then I'm doing some laundry. Actually, it's the first time I've done laundry, so it was hasn't been too bad. But you find that you're just pretty much in a swimming suit majority of the day, and then I have a dress that I've been kind of wearing at night. Easy peasy. Um, are you an overpacker? Do you tend to overpack or do you bring just enough stuff or do you tend to be an underpacker and forget a bunch of stuff? I feel like there is a whole range of how people pack. All right, I am packing up my chair and I'm gonna walk down to the beach. I'm not sure if I have shown you guys this yet, but if you come to Hawaii, these chairs are pretty much a staple. They're the Tommy Bahama chairs. They sell them at Costco. But I was just joking with Mark, like they really have thought of everything on this chair. Okay, let me snap it closed and then I'm gonna show you. So it has this cup holder on the side plus like a Velcro little packet so you could put like your keys or your cell phone in there. They come with little um, backpack straps so you can carry it on your back. It clips closed. I always stick my towel down in there. Um, it can lay all the way back flat when you're on the beach. And then when you turn it around, Got, they got a handle so you can carry them easy as well. On the back, this is just a pocket. So you, I always stick my book and sunscreen in there. And then this bottom one, you guys, they really thought of everything, is a cooler bag. So you can stick your drinks in there and keep them cool. When you walk up and down the beach, almost every single one is one of these Tommy Bahama chairs. They like, they just know what they're doing. They know what people need when they're walking down to the beach. Often. It's the little bit of a walk from your car to the beach or from your condo to the beach. So they know that you need to be able to, you know, take it with you. So I'm always happy when I see those in the Airbnbs that we uh, stay in. Honestly, one of these times, I probably should just buy some and take them home with me because they would be great in Alaska too when we go to the lake, but that's all right. We'll just enjoy them while we're in Hawaii. All right, friends, as I'm walking down to the beach, I figure I'm gonna chat with you guys since I'm by myself. For the day um so this trip to hawaii um if you saw our previous video was a surprise for mark i planned it um without him <laughs> um i knew he would enjoy it but the real like kick for me to plan this really was as a celebration of our youtube journey over the last year you guys like so we are here because of you, really, we are. We are so grateful for you guys. And um, hit some big goals these last couple months. And because of that, I was able to use some of the earnings from this channel and pay for the big things like the Airbnb and the car rental. And then I had miles for the tickets because we haven't traveled a lot in the last year. Um, and so this trip was really, 
made possible because you guys are here. So thank you so much. Now, I know that I have put in a lot of time and a lot of work this last year, putting out videos for you guys, spending time uh, commenting back and forth with all of you. Um, it hasn't just like happened magically. I know that I've put in the work, but it wouldn't be anything without having people watch the videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of this YouTube family. So I'm trying to reflect back. I'm not sure if Mark and I have ever actually taken a vacation, just the two of us that didn't have some sort of work component involved. And we usually bring the kids along too. Every once in a while we get away just the two of us, but it's a lot of work to get away just the two of us. So um, this has just been a fun different trip. I would love to know, like, when you go on trips, do you plan everything out? I'm a pretty lazy trip planner. Like, I, Mark did a bunch of planning for being able to go free diving, and he did a lot of research on um, places he could free dive and we could snorkel. But other than that, our plans have just been really open. And I go on vacation mostly just to recharge, especially if I'm coming somewhere like this. So lots of just reading by the pool, reading on the beach, going for long walks, watching the sunset, Costco shopping was fun, eating at the Airbnb, not a lot of extravagance, just recharging and that's exactly what this trip has been. But um, I don't know if you guys, here I'll turn so you can see the beautiful view. Um, I follow Jodi Moore. She is a life coach. She has an awesome podcast called Better Than Happy. And her philosophy on life is that um, we're meant to be better than happy and that that means that we're gonna have 50-50 highs and lows. And um, she has given me a really good outlook on life. The second day that we were here, I got a terrible migraine, ended up throwing up, laying in bed for several hours, and Mark went, was, Mark had plans to go diving that morning, so I just stayed back and um, just recovered. I didn't let it ruin my trip because I understand that life is 50-50, even when you're in paradise, even when you're on vacation, it can't all be amazing. And it really just didn't get me down. I just was so grateful actually that I was on vacation and I didn't have anybody else to take care of and I was able just to take a nap and relax and sit out on the lanai and the shade and recover. So really, it's not all amazing, beautiful, even when you're on vacation, but um, it's all part of the journey. And so I'm just gonna, I just, so it's just good just to take it in stride. So if you need life, like ways to just improve your life and improve the way that you think about your life, go check out Jodi Moore. She's amazing. Whoa. All right, Mark's out there somewhere, free diving with some locals. I'm gonna head down here to the beach. I thought I had more battery, but I'm at 7%, so this isn't gonna last very long, but I'll catch back up with you guys when I get back up to the house. Mark got to go diving with three locals. They went out and practiced different types of diving techniques in deep water. They were not many fish to see, but they were lucky to have some other types of visitors.
After the dolphin visit, Mark was able to do an epic dive. He dove down the line and was able to go 103 feet. His previous record for himself was 60 feet. When free diving, it is customary for your diving partner to meet you as you come back up to make sure that you don't black out. He sent me a picture of his dive watch and I was so impressed at how far he has come with holding his breath and learning to safely dive. Because he was with other experienced divers, he felt comfortable and was able to set this personal record. All right, so. <laughs> All right, Mark got home a little bit sooner than I planned, so we're gonna go to the grocery store together. We need toilet paper, but I'm gonna do what we love most, and I'm gonna look at prices at the local grocery store. When we went and got breakfast, it was like over $35 for just a few things, so I'm guessing some of the prices might be even higher than Alaska, especially in the tourist section down here along the coast. are by the pound. They seem very high. They have this pokey bar that looks amazing. give them your um, your phone number and get their rewards card because otherwise everything is a lot more expensive. Oh, these are fresh island eggs. Mainland. Coconut cream, sugar, that sounds good. I always love the coconut pancake syrup stuff. Mango mm. butter. Billy Koi jelly, mm, yum. Yeah, that sounds great. Mango butter, okay, so it's not cheap though, wow. Mango butter, wow, that one is really expensive. Here's, here's honey. Hawaiian honey.
get the Hawaiian water. Only a dollar. We always laugh at ourselves because we don't buy much much juice at home, but we come here and like this is all we want to drink. Pineapple orange, not the tea. <laughs> passion orange, pineapple orange. Uh, this one, passion nectar, passion orange. Alba, strawberry blood. This lahing powder, do you know what that is? Is it like a sour powder? No idea. Because like this one comes with, like in the packet. I don't know. This thing. Well, let's see. Prune, salt, sugar, licorice, saccharin. So I'm not sure. Hmm. Lychee gummy. What is this? Sour so this is Oh, this is squid. Yeah, I saw that. Sugar, squid. Squid, sugar, salt. Huh. Interesting. Look at this. Hog. Cat. This stuff would be good. fun for the kids. Coconut ball. Gifts. Maybe we should try some. It's like dehydrated lemons. Uh -huh. <gasps> Making my mouth water. Pineapple coconut balls. Yum. Okay, it's okay. We can. Huh. Who loves cookies? Made with Aloha. Oh, they're ice cream sandwiches. Distinctive flavor and is often said to be acquired taste. It has a combination of sweet, sour, and salty. From the Guidong province, Lihong means traveling plum. Hmm, interesting. The Cantonese. Oh, those sound good. Yeah, guava. Where is that? Down here? I need something to get to a kid. I'd rather that way not. Enjoy one of these? Yeah. So it seems like most of the cereals are in the like $6 range. Maybe bags. Oh, do 
many? Four? Like it's probably okay. Four rolls. What is it? $6.99. what you like. Open up syrup. Lava syrup. Lily corn syrup. This is what you like. Mm -hmm. Really good. Pancake. Strawberry guava, chocolate macadamia nut, lily koi, pineapple coconut, banana macadamia nut. Wow. They sure have a lot of fun local things. Hawaiian Isle seasoning. Oh, garlic, ginger, pepper. The salt is huge. Yeah. So, yeah. Looks like sand on the beach. It does, yeah. It scooped up some sand. Not really, but it. <laughs> Here's an original. Salt, garlic, ginger, pepper, garlic, salt. Handmade by in Honolulu. Kalua, Hawaiian seasoning. Macadamia nut blossom, pure Hawaiian honey. That's the best honey, that's $32. Sea salt. One and done for me, I think. These things look like they sink. Coconut bread, mango bread, banana bread. Yum. Freshly made pork rind. All right. It was fun looking around. I think my favorite part was just that there's so many local things to look at. Much more than you have see when you're at like Costco. We'll take it back and show you what we ended up with this time and tell you the total. All right, Mark and I decided to go check out these shops here behind us in just a minute. So he ran to the bathroom. I'm just gonna show you what we ended up with. So we're gonna try these Leeheen pineapple belts. If we like them, we'll get more for the kids. We did grab some coconut syrup. And then some little shortbread. One is macadamia nut guava. And macadamia nut lily koi. Grab some razors because I forgot mine. 
and four packages of toilet paper. And the grand total was $29.31. There was a $1.17 of tax. It says we saved $4.50 by being club members. So $29 for just a few things, but that's okay. <laughs> we want to take home a few fun things for the boys, and I think it's best if we just get them consumable stuff, because then they'll eat it and enjoy it and feel like they were thought of while we were on our little trip. I'm going to try these. I'm, I'm just not sure what it's going to taste like, but my mouth is kind of watering. It says, when Mark looked it up, it said it's an acquired taste, so we'll see. Kids would love this. Do you want to try a? Yeah, let me get some. Okay. Get some feet here. Our Alaskan feet have a hard time wearing sandals. They're not used to it. Oh, it's hurting. It's got these like sores here. <laughs> I'm sure when you live here year round, you develop calluses and can wear sandals all the time. But we're just so not used to it. Okay, let me try this. Not bad. I'm just trying to like identify what the taste is. Yeah, I just taste like pineapple, but with like almost like a little bit of extra kick. Maybe it's kind of yeah. like a salty. Yeah. Like a savory taste to it. Yeah. Savory but sweet, like. The pineapple is the sweet, and then it kind of adds a little it's savory. It's not bad at all. It's great. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I think the kids will like them. Pretty tree. Yeah. Aloha. I just remember loving to look at these kind of things when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are these, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. Oh, those, those dolphins or fish? Well, we have one like that. Yeah, the kids broke it over time, but they were cool. You passed it a long time. It did. I remember kids playing with it at church. That was from Prince Edward Island. Was it really? We love turtles. Satisfying to watch that. This right here is that. Oh, we put it on our tree and that's fine. Remember coming? Yeah. They Waikiki. We don't want that. We want a Maui one. Mm -hmm. Or if there is some other Christmas ornament you want to. These are ornaments, but oh, they're just wood art. Oh, that's cool. kind of cool. Uh -huh. These are ornaments, but. Tell, it, tell us down below, do we need an ornament to commemorate our trip? Oh, we have one like this from when we came last time. That's what we have when we came for my dad's birthday. These are great. 
little nativity. Oh, that is. What is that? Is it a gourd or something? A hollowed out block? Made in Maui. Wow. Oh, this one's not, this one's not carved in the middle, but it's just a nativity. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Did they burn those? Is it like a, Maybe. like a burn plus paint? That was fun to walk around that market. We didn't end up buying anything. We may come back for an ornament. Other than that, I didn't really find anything I couldn't live without, but um, we are gonna go and find, there's a Maui pie shop. Is it called a Hawaiian? What is it? I don't know, it's a local pie shop. A local pie shop. And get some to take home for after dinner tonight. It's coconut or no? Yeah, it's a very specific Hawaiian thing. So the flavors are mango, strawberry, raspberry, peach, strawberry, rhubarb, mountain berry, north shore berry, apple, blueberry, cherry, cherry mango, coconut cream, banana cream, chocolate, hapui, lily koi, passion fruit, key lime, and chocolate peanut butter. Oh, why don't we get a lily koi to share right okay. now? Okay. And then okay. take a chocolate of at home. Okay. What do you think? Sounds good. What did she ask? Whipped cream? Whipped cream? Yeah, sure. On my... Ooh. Is it good? It's so good. Oh, good. It's really good. Really, really flavorful. Yum, yum. Thank you, hon. It has right. so much flavor to it. Wow. I mean, it kind of has a... Like... I don't know, like a blah look. You know, this yellow pasty, but... Wow. That's it's so, so flavorful. Like it starts off and then it kind of after a few seconds you get that. Boom yeah. Of like that citric and the sweetness. Wow, that is really it's good. It's really, really good. I was wondering about a $7 slice of pie, but that's pretty amazing. <coughs> and it's unique. I yeah. don't think I've ever had a Lily Koi. Makes me glad we didn't buy the. It's rich too. The $10. Uh, shaved ice. This oh, is better. so better. Much better. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Somehow we left the house without water. We're kind of dying. So we're going to take <coughs> it back and have this stuff later because it's just so good, but it's rich and we need water. Good call on the Lily Koi. Yeah. It's a winner. I wanted to try just something unique. Something yeah. from here. I figured a lot of those things we could make. Yeah. This is like, I said, something unique. Special. Yeah. So good. The guys I was diving with, you know, I had these cookies. Are those some special Alaskan cookies? And I was like, no. Like, I come down here, I want to try all the unique foods. And they're like, oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> all right, I'm sitting out on the lanai. Most nights we've been um, watching the sunset and then having dinner. But tonight we are having dinner a little bit earlier. We are kind of, we were joking earlier because if you saw our Costco video, we bought a lot of steak and we did eat some fish that Mark caught, but um, we just keep switching back and forth between carne asada and tri-tip and they're both great. Mark has been cooking them out on the grill, but then we also bought two salads, a Caesar salad and a spinach salad. So we've been switching back and forth between those two. So tonight, yummy tri-tip and salad, spinach salad and we're just a couple minutes away from sunset out there oh we don't get that good of a view of it the sun is right behind those buildings all right mark's gonna w dig into the chocolate i don't remember how to say it hop how you Ayupia? I don't know. Whatever it is, I think it's gonna be yummy. 
Most of the local things I've had are good. There's been a few things that I'm not cared for, but. Mmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be hard to beat that lily koi pie. It was so good. I think this is different. But. Yeah, very different. It's good. It's got like a chocolate mousse sort of thing on the bottom and then this top cream custard kind of thing. You said it's similar to flan. Yeah. Yep. So I'm over here editing a video. I had to come <clears throat> plug it in and um, I'm looking for Hawaiian music on the thing that I use for my music. And I typed in Hawaiian and it, the song that came up is called Lost My Christmas Ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and there's one called Oahu Stargazing. It's actually a tech techno song. It's under the jazz section. Okay, I guess I gotta try it. Yeah, I think it's like so rich. I ate, what is that? Like a fifth of this thing? I'm just like, hmm, that's good. <laughs> like, I'm satisfied. Well, we got a couple days to eat it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You can see the layers, the mm -hmm. chocolate and the haikui. Haipi. Haipia. Where is it? Haipia. 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 I don't know. <coughs> I'm going to shower. Okay. All right, friends. Thank you for coming along with us today. Uh, we're about to sit down and watch a movie. Uh, we showered for the night, we had dinner, we cleaned up, I edited, Mark watched a show. So now it's just amazing the amount of time you have in the evenings when you don't have to rush kids around and do homework and all that stuff. So, and we've kept our meals pretty simple, so that goes quick. Yep. And, um, but it's all been good. Uh, just in case you're wondering, we did leave during Bennett's birthday, but Grandma and Grandpa did a great job of continuing his birthday celebration they made him a cake for his birthday. Everett and Grandma made him cinnamon rolls. Raisin nut, raisin nut, raisin. And what did you make here? Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> cinnamon rolls. Okay. And here's a dog I made. With stupid You made that? <laughs> yeah. I made it. Okay. It's oh. a baby dog. Ruff. And he got a balloon making kit yeah. for like balloon animals from grandma and grandpa so they had a good time with that making balloon animals and I'm sure the birthday extravaganza will continue when we get home because his gift never even arrived his main gift which is why I bought all those smaller gifts but anyways save it for something else yeah we may just save it for Christmas but we love Bennett and we will continue to make sure that he feels special for his birthday. And um, hope you've enjoyed spending some time with us here in Hawaii. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Aloha.